We didn't lose 9 million jobs. We didn't lose 3 million jobs. We added 2.5 million jobs between midpoint April and midpoint May. That's incredible. That shows that the reopening is having a positive effect and it's going pretty well. It looks like companies, small businesses, all those people need to rehire. It shows us that the Paycheck Protection Program, it worked, at least for now. The question is, is this some sort of just initial spike, you know, an initial reopening, an initial hiring that isn't going to continue, that we are losing momentum from, and it's going to be less and less of a rate from this point forward? Or is the best yet to come? Has New York and California slowed with its opening, and how is it going to look from here? Somebody mentioned a really good physical analogy to me today to this whole economic on pause situation. It's like somebody took an inflatable ball in a pool and shoved it under the water in the pool with their hands, pushed the ball under the pool. And then all of a sudden they removed their hand and the ball sprung up. Now the question becomes, does the ball spring up all the way? Does it kind of like get stuck by the force of the water and slow down? And, you know, it's a small ball with not a lot of air in it. So it's a slow riser. It's like get that initial bump and then a slow rise. I don't know. I don't know. But if you ask me, I think this rate should continue. You know, we've got Texas, obviously a big behemoth that's open. Florida, a big behemoth that's open. But New York, very much closed, especially New York City. California, very much closed. LA, very much closed. Huge city. Lots of jobs that need to go on there. So I think the best is yet to come. And we were expecting to be at 19 per excuse me, expecting to be at 19% unemployment. We're at 13% unemployment. That's a pretty, pretty good difference. You know, the Republicans are definitely winning right now. This is a Democrat nightmare for in terms of the next upcoming election, but we'll keep the politics out of it. So I think things are looking pretty optimistic to me. That said, with the market, doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Yeah, we're having this spike today. But the market was pricing in the best case scenario. The market was pricing in a swift recovery, almost a V-shaped recovery. So it's nothing shocking for the market. Yes, we're having an aggressive rally today, but I would not be surprised to see this cool off slightly. And what I'm expecting for the market over the next month or so is to start flatlining. It's going to be volatile. You know, today we're up. We might be down on Monday over the weekend or after the weekend. So we'll see what happens. But if you look at the midpoint of April to the midpoint of May, it's relatively flat. Not the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ was the real recovery section because... Lots of software players in there. Those are the winners in this pandemic. But if you look at the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones Industrial Average, April and May, relatively flat. A lot of chop, but relatively flat. I expect the same thing to go on now at this level that we're at right now. We've got all the positive news. The truth has been realized. Now we need to wait for the economic fundamentals to catch up to the market. That should take some time. We need New York to open. We need California to open. We need people to start going back outside. And we need to make sure that the unemployment claims are at the end of July when the unemployment insurance runs out aren't too dramatic because then those people are going to be without income. And who knows what's going to happen? We just saw what civil unrest looks like. You don't know what civil unrest can look like when there's a big unemployment situation, which is a, a different world from what we had pre-COVID. So right now we need to be cautious. You know, it's not, it's not a time to be overexcited. If you're buying now, you need to be able to stomach some loss. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy. I'm definitely a buyer. Just got more cash today. I'm using it sparingly today. I'm looking to use it over next week. Hopefully we'll get some sort of pullback, but I'm just hopeful on that. You know, I'm just hopeful. I don't know if we're going to pull back, but I'm hoping we do. Overall, I think we should start the flat line. It should be volatile for the next several weeks. And the next big catalyst is in July. And that can go one of two ways. One, 
unemployment gets decreased very quickly, employment rises, people get back into their jobs, there's pent up demand, people go to stores, people start spending, everyone needs new clothes, everyone needs haircuts, everyone wants to go out to dinner, everyone wants to go on vacation, and the economic fundamentals catch up to the stock market and we see a rally. That's the ideal scenario. That's what the market's pricing in right now, it looks like. The somewhat more concerning scenario that I think is somewhat less likely but is still possible and still something I'm definitely considering is we see some sort of economic recovery. Employment increases, unemployment decreases, but we don't end up anywhere near the levels we were at before. We were at 3.5%. We don't get close to 4 or 5%. We get somewhere around 9%, 8%. That's still very high unemployment. And all of a sudden, the unemployment insurance runs out. And then we've got a contracted economy and the stock market can't justify that. And then we see a more significant pullback. Now, I think that's our, maybe not necessarily a more significant pullback. That's what the market should do. But maybe not a catalyst to continue the long-term bull run. We spend the next couple months just flat and very volatile. I think that's the less likely of the two outcomes. I do think the economic recovery looks rather strong and it's going to continue to look rather strong. And it's looking somewhat strong in China, although they've got a bigger unemployment issue than we do. So right now, we're, we just got to be cautious, be ready to adapt, take a very good look at the economic data as it comes. Today was very positive. Wednesday was very positive. So hopefully, we see some good things. And if we continue to see some good things, the economy should recover and... We should go back to a, a strong, good American economy that was on a massive bull run that should just continue. And we should just make America greater than ever before. As Donald Trump has said, we will be stronger than ever. We will be better than ever before after this. And I do believe that to be true in the long term. It's a matter of what does the rest of 2020 look like and... Right now, it looks like it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. But let's just be cautious of the potential risks. But it does look like it's going pretty well. And I'm betting it to go, on, it to go pretty well, but I am malleable and ready to adapt. And I think you should be the same. You know, that's how a lot of people got caught in this coronavirus issue. They were not ready to adapt once it started spreading to Italy and South Korea. And there was a massive sell-off. So <laughs> until next time. Peace.